My mother was diagnosed with schizophrenia when I was a little boy and lost custody of us. So I was raised by my dad. The stigma was such that uh, no one ever even told me my mother was mentally ill. Things have changed enormously since then. We study postmortem human brains, and in particular, we've been very interested in the genes that increase risk for major mental illness, especially schizophrenia. We've been particularly interested in studying how genes change across normal human, human brain development so that we would understand how the genetic variation that's going to increase risk for schizophrenia would work. We're determined to map the genetics of all the major mental illnesses. What we've found in almost every gene we've looked at in detail so far, the genetic variability that's increasing risk for disease is beginning to do this while the fetus is being developed, while the brain is being developed. And we created a map. We could see how these genes were changing across the human lifespan. We were beginning to understand how the brain was developing. We need to understand how you think and feel at a molecular level so we can develop new treatments to improve those things when the person is sick. We're determined to map the genetics and the messenger RNAs of all the major mental illnesses and normal human brains over the next few years. The Brain and Behavior Research Foundation in providing grants for researchers has provided hope not just for the researchers that are trying to make advances, but for the patients and the beneficiaries of that research.